What's up guys, welcome back to another Dan Munro special video and uh, this is the first time I'm actually coming at you from my new place, the Brojo Mansion where me and a couple of the Brojo captains have taken up residence in order to uh, develop a lifestyle of self-development support around where you live. That's for another day. Today I want to talk about breakups and a particular type of breakup and a particular type of of reaction to a breakup. I just got off the phone with a friend who's going through a breakup and it reminded me of my past. And in particular, this kind of relationship, which most of you will be able to relate to. You've been with someone a few weeks, maybe a month or two, and you're starting to build up such a connection with them that along with that you're getting hopeful. Yeah, Maybe this is going somewhere, maybe this is the real thing. And you're starting to, to rebuild your faith and connection, like, finally I found someone. And then, one day, they just go cold on you. Maybe they don't text back, maybe they ignore you at a party, maybe they're flirting with someone. Maybe the way they're talking seems kind of guarded, and their previous behaviour was all lovey-dovey, and all of a sudden now, they're cold and hostile. And of course the next day, you get dumped, maybe even by text you're left baffled because there was no precipitating factor. Everything seemed to be fine. In fact, it seemed to be on the up. And then the whole thing died. Your insecurities get triggered and the very first thing that everyone always asks in this situation is why? Why don't they like me? Why did they break up with me? What did I do wrong? How can I fix it? These are all the questions of why. Why did this happen? I used to ask this every time. In fact, I used to ask them, which is, God, just the neediest thing to do. And I started thinking about it. Why do I need to know why? Why does why matter? Why has it become so important to find out why? What's going on there? So I started diving into this and I realized something. Asking the question why is a completely pointless waste of energy. It really is. Let's have a look at why I'm saying that. Firstly, if you were being yourself with this person, if you had integrity, if they knew the real you, you were being honest and vulnerable and shameless, and you are willing to lose them in order to be of integrity with them, then that means they dumped you for the real you. They got to know the real you and still didn't want to be with you. So there's no point pursuing why, because you're obviously not the right fit for them. If they saw everything about you and it's true, then you as a person is not a good compatibility with them, even if you like them. So that's the why question answered. You're not a good fit. Now very few people in the beginning phases of a relationship have the courage to be boldly authentic. Most people get to know each other and spend months or years being fake before they let their guard down. Yeah? So let's say you're most people. And in those first few weeks, you had been playing it safe. Showing them the best side of yourself, hiding the worst, moderating yourself to make sure they liked you as much as possible. Well then, if that's the case, they dumped you based on the persona, the performance that you were putting on. They dumped you for the fakeness. So you have no idea whether or not they like you. So asking them why is not going to give you any helpful answers because they're only going to be commenting on the performance you gave, not you as a person. They don't know you as a person. They couldn't have dumped you as a person because they've never met that person. So if you're being real with them, then it means you're a bad fit, at least at that moment in their life. And if you're being fake with them, then they didn't like the fake version of you. So you don't know if you're a good fit. Deep down we probably know this, rationally we know, hey, if they dumped us, regardless of the reason, it means we're not meant to be together. So why do I care about trying to find some sort of reason? Well I think this is really dangerous, because what will happen if you're like me, first off you'll assume that whatever answer they give is an accurate answer. Why did you dump me? Because of this. Oh, that must be the truth. Nobody knows why they're attracted to something, and nobody knows why they lose attraction for something. It's too subconscious, it's too deep to really understand. 
So if you're asking for someone's opinion on why they're attracted to you or not attracted to you, they don't even know the answer. So any answer they give you is not going to be helpful because it's not going to be truthful. Let's say hypothetically you meet someone who's so critically, awesomely self-aware that they are accurately able to figure out why they lost attraction for you and give you a real answer. That answer is not going to help you either because all they're telling you about is their individual preferences. If you were to adjust yourself based on that, not only would you become more fake, which destroys your self-worth, you're adjusting for their needs, not the person you're about to meet. So you're like, okay, uh, she didn't like that I, I ate too much chocolate. Bro, with the next girl, I'm not going to eat chocolate. What if that next girl loves chocolate? Right? Asking the question why when someone breaks up with you is nothing but a source of misery. It also externalizes. Instead of you asking yourself, was I real in that relationship? If not, well then I have no idea if we're even in a relationship. Time for me to practice being more real. If I wasn't real in the relationship, well there you go. Hey. What it comes down to, when you break up with someone, when someone breaks up with you, and I know it fucking hurts, doesn't it? It's rejection. Once someone gets to know you and then rejects you, it's so much more painful than a stranger, isn't it? Especially if you think you've been real with them. You're like, wow, they just actually don't like the real me. That kind of sucks. That space that they were taking up is now vacated for the person who will like you. So instead of spending years, months, whatever, trying to please this person and both of you being miserable throughout that experience, you now have a space in front of you where someone might be able to slot in, you just be yourself and have no effort that needs to be put in and they like you anyway. Wouldn't that be so much more rewarding? Aren't you glad you have that space now? I know you might not be feeling glad, but if you're like me, when you look back and you realize that asking why never caused you anything but pain and made you more confused and more off track, you realize it's not about why, it's about who am I choosing? Am I aligning with the right people? Am I finding someone whose values align? And am I showing my true self to them so that we can figure out if we're a good fit? For real? Those are the real questions. Cheers for listening. I'll see you next time.